Welcome back to The Division 2. In this video, I want to talk to you about the gear sets and the fact that they need a huge, huge rework. There are a few that are new into the game with Title Update 10. You have Eclipse Protocol, which was with Season 2. Then you have Future Initiative and you have Foundry Bulwark, which were released supposedly with the raid. But the chest and the backpack got locked behind the raid. The other four pieces can be found anywhere. But for an example, Eclipse Protocol has come into the game and it's overtaken ongoing directive. So one gear set's been made obsolete because another one is just far more superior. But not only that, I put a couple of like gear set builds together with different pieces, not always necessarily six piece, sometimes four, including backpack and chest talents, sometimes four without, sometimes three. Like there are loads of different combinations you can use and that's good. But some of these gear sets are completely pointless because you can run a standard build and you're going to perform a lot better. It's going to be a much stronger build if you're not using the gear sets. So the first one, I actually put a build together for it, is Tip of the Spear. And I have it down here, so if I quickly equip it, I've got the four-piece including the talents on. And if you look at this, two-piece, signature weapon damage bonus by 10%. Three-piece is 10% just general weapon damage. The four-piece is dealing damage with a signature weapon increases the total weapon damage by 20% for 60 seconds. You also automatically generate signature weapon ammo every minute. So with the backpack talent, it increases your signature weapon damage by 20% and doubles the amount of signature weapon ammo generated by aggressive recon. So aggressive recon is the four-piece bonus. So you're getting just you're getting two signature rounds, like signature weapon pieces of ammo. You're getting two every minute instead of one. Then if you go over to the chest, the talent on this increases that weapon damage bonus from 20% to 40. So you're getting a 40% weapon bonus, which lasts for 60 seconds. And that's once you deal damage with a signature weapon. There is absolutely no point in using this. I tried running it with Sharpshooter. If we take a look at the Sharpshooter specialization, it's capable of penetrating all but the heaviest of armored targets. Blah, 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 blah. Look at the bottom of it. Reduced damage against named enemies. So you're only really going to use Tip of the Spear because it uses these specialization weapons. You're not going to use these against too many standard enemies because they deal a decent amount of damage but they have such a limited amount of ammo. For an example, you get six in the mag for this, attack 50, then you can get two extra rounds. So you can hold eight rounds for this, and if you're generating two rounds per minute, you're like you're firing eight rounds, and then you have to wait a minute to get another two rounds. But you can also fill up your specialization bar, blah, blah, blah. I tested this in the shooting range against my standard DPS build, which is this one, and I was hitting, once I had procced the extra damage from using my signature weapon, I was hitting for a little over 2 million damage with my Baker's Dozen, and then I switched over to my standard DPS build, doesn't require anything, like I don't need to do anything to get bonus damage from it, I literally run it with a sacrifice, so I've got perfect glass cannon, I get amplified damage just for fucking existing. And then with this, I've got Vigilance, so again, just for being there and showing up on the day, I get an extra 25% weapon damage. As long as I don't take damage, so if I'm not being a dickhead, I'm going to be alright with that one. But with the other one, you have to use your signature weapon to proc the extra damage. I was hitting just over 2 mil on the Baker's Dozen. But with this build, I hit for nearly 3 million. Like, if I get a critical headshot, it hits for 3 million damage. So there is absolutely no point in me using Tip of the Spear. So that the build is just going to be completely... Like, I might do a video with it or something just to fuck around with Pete and just see if we can actually do anything with the build but apart from that I'm never going to use it I'm just going to scrap it and put all the shit back in my stash or just throw it all away and dismantle it because it just has no use it, it's not good at all and then another one if we go back into my inventory I don't know why I come out of it if we have a look at my skill build I run three piece hardwired if you get the four piece, whenever you use or cancel a skill, your other skill's cooldown is automatically reduced by 30 seconds. On this build, I run the Striker Drone and the Assault Turret. They have like a 14 a second cooldown. So reducing it by 30 seconds is overkill. But it also increases your skill damage and your repair skills by 10% for 20 seconds. That goes up to 25 with one of the talents. And the feedback loop can occur once every 20 seconds. And with the other talent on the chest or the backpack or whatever, it goes down to every 10 seconds. But there's no point using that. And I only run the three piece. So I've got skill haste, skill damage and repair skills because then bonuses for skill haste and damage are 15%. But I've been told by a lot of people in the comments that I don't even need to run this. Apparently, if I just run the standard skill brand sets in the game, I can make a better build than what I have with my hardwired. So that's another pointless gear set. Another one is ongoing directive. And that got made completely obsolete by Eclipse Protocol. Because if we go and have a look, I'll just go into the backpacks. And we'll go and find ongoing directive. 
Two piece gives you 15% status effect. Three piece gives you 30% reload speed. Then you have rules of engagement. Killing a status affected enemy grants hollow point ammo for your active weapon. Hollow point ammo amplifies the weapon damage by 20% and applies bleed on hit. If you have the backpack talent, increases the duration of your bleed status effect by 50% and all bleed damage done by 100. If you go into the chest and find ongoing directive, the chest talent increases the hollow point ammo weapon damage amplification to 35% from 20. So basically, this is, you get weapon damage on there. I've got, what was the, the core attributes weapon damage on there as well. So it build like, it specs into weapon damage and you can get yellows and stuff, but you're getting status effects. So you have a bonus of status effects. So it's basically a DPS slash status effect build sort of thing with this gear set but that hollow point ammo and causing bleed i have seen builds put together where you can have like a constant bleed but there is absolutely no point when eclipse protocol exists because if you take a look at eclipse protocol you get the 15 percent status effect you get the skill like you get skill haste and you get hazard protection like hazard protection i'm not too fussed about if they could have taken that off for skill damage or something like that that would have been nice but your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 15 meters and refresh 50% of the duration when you are using indirect transmission. If you run the backpack, it amplifies all the damage you deal to status affected enemies or targets by 15%. If you run the chest talent, instead of it being a 15 meter radius that it spreads to, it's 20 meters, so it increases the distance. So basically what you would do with this is use it for crowd control or you can use it for other things too, like if you're running the crossbow, and you've got incendiary grenades, then you can chuck a grenade, set an enemy on fire, kill that enemy, and it's going to pass to all other enemies within 20 meters. But if you're running crowd control, which is really, really good for legendary difficulty, you're going to use this. You're not going to touch on going directive, because with this, you run the vial mask as well. All you have to do is just use the right foam chem launcher, chuck out a stinger hive, so you're causing bleed, you're getting them stuck in place, and there are a lot of confined spaces in certain missions like Lincoln Memorial, American History Museum, District Union for legendary difficulty. And then once you've got them stuck and they're bleeding, you just kill one of those enemies and it passes on to all enemies within 20 meters. So you're causing a lot of damage, you're keeping a lot of enemies in place. That makes ongoing directive completely pointless to run. And not only that, when you're farming for gear sets, because there are now so many in the game, if you do a gear set targeted loot mission or open world or whatever, a lot of the time you're just going to find stuff that you don't want. Like they just, I don't know why these developers do it, but they're just increasing and increasing the loot pools, which makes it harder and harder to put builds together. When the game first came out, we had 16 brand sets available. We now have 21. Like they just keep adding stuff into the game and they're not reworking the older stuff so that it's all balanced. And I, I mean, at this point, they need to be removing some of the stuff that doesn't really get used. But apart from that, the gear sets do need a lot of work done to them. Like, the specialisation, like, pretty much fucking everything in this game needs some form of a rework. But on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.